Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works. On Thursday, December 3, 2020, mostly Anthony, but also Joe, have been working on this bottom. We now have five coats of Interlux Interprotect 2000E barrier coat applied. White, gray, white, gray, and in the end we were sort of running out, so it's a lighter gray because we mixed all we had left. So we're about to begin applying our Pettit Hard Racing Copper Bronze bottom paint. Right now, Joe and Anthony are just working along the surface using, as you can see, a window scraper to remove any little bits of dust and other debris that was caught in the paint. As soon as we get the bottom paint on, it'll be time to bleach the hull sides and the transom. And remember that when you're bleaching, Let's get it right this time. The boat's upside down. So you want to start closest to the floor. Let's do that and work up. Don't start at the blue tape and work down. To do so is to enjoy into the future until you can sand at least a sixteenth off the entire surface of vertical little rivulets that are super blonde and cannot be hidden. So, as soon as we start painting, we'll do one of those fun time-lapse things. And in a day, we can take the next step. We'll be back. So we're back to regular time. The guys have got a nice heavy coat of Pettit Old Salem Copper Bronze Hard Racing bottom paint on our 1992 John Ford replica of a John Hacker Gentleman's Racer. 26 feet long. We'll put several more coats on, let them cure, and then it will be bleaching time. This bottom, if you go back and look at the previous videos on the Packard, You'll see that it's like day and night. Thank goodness it's now day. So that's our almost finished bottom, a milestone that is a couple coats of copper bronze away from us. And then we'll be able to begin bleaching the top sides and the transom. Now let's get this straight because I've had a series of questions on bleaching. Let's put it this way. Start bleaching at the floor and work up the side of the boat so that you don't end up with rivulets of bleach having run down this beautiful mahogany creating little blonde lines that you will play hell to get rid of. All right, start at the bottom, work at the top.
Keep it wet for at least eight hours. And you'll see shortly, we end up with snow outside in Vermont and snow inside on the Packard. So Miss Packard is waiting for her first step and we will update you at then. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.